Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. If there is a specific issue for which you would like to see a video, please leave a comment. FreeBSD doesn't come with a graphical environment or graphical user interface, because in many server applications of FreeBSD, this is not needed. But if you want to use FreeBSD as your primary machine for daily use, the desktop environment like XFCE, GNOME, KDE, Mate, and Cinnamon will be very useful. The first step for all of those is to install the X Windows system. Boot up the system, log in as the root user, and type the command pkg install xorg, and when prompted, enter Y for yes. The required packages will now be downloaded. This could take a few minutes. If there will be regular users on the system besides root, add them to the group video with the command pw group mod video dash m and then your username. The next step depends on your graphics card. In my test environment, I am running FreeBSD in a virtual machine, but the procedure will be different for Intel, AMD, Nvidia, etc. To identify the graphic cards installed in your system, type pciconf-lv-pipe-grep-b4-vga. Again, as I am using a virtual machine, the device is a QXL Para Virtual Card. If the graphics card is not on Intel, AMD or Nvidia, then VESA in BIOS mode or SCFB in UEFI mode modules should be used. To check the boot mode, type sysctl macdep.boot method. In my example, the boot method is BIOS, so I can go for the VESA module because this is not on Intel, AMD or Nvidia. This might sound intimidating, but it is very easy. The FreeBSD handbook has a table that lists the exact module and the steps to be used for your graphics cards. A link to this is in the description of this video. Just replace it to the next command with your required module. Type pkg install xf86 video vesa Now the X Windows system is ready to go. Type start X. This is very basic as you can see and it is not that useful. So on top of the X Windows system we have to add a desktop environment. In this example I'm going to install the desktop environment called Cinnamon. Cinnamon provides advanced, innovative features and a traditional desktop user experience. But the emphasis is put on making users feel at home and providing them with an easy to use and comfortable desktop. The underlying technology is a fork of GNOME. To start fresh, I have rebooted the system. After the reboot, we stay on the command line as the system doesn't boot automatically into X Windows. Type pkg install cinnamon. The required packages will now be downloaded, but this could take a few minutes. Cinnamon needs the PROC file system to be mounted to be able to access the kernel. Add the below line to forward slash etc fs tab and save the file. I am using VI, but you can use any editor. Cinnamon also needs to use the dbus daemon to function properly. This is already installed, we just need to enable it with the command sysrc dbus underscore enable equals yes. Pay attention to the capitals and double quotes. Cinnamon is now installed and as a last step we need a display manager, in this case LightDM. To install LightDM type pkg install lightdm lightdm gtk creator. If you want to mainly work on the command line and you want to start cinnamon with the start x command, log in as the user that you want to use cinnamon with and type the lengthy command that is on screen now. Now when you issue start x, cinnamon will start. 
This is an interactive way of invoking Cinnamon, but most likely you want Cinnamon to be started automatically upon system boot. For this to work, type sysrc lightdm underscore enable equals yes. Reboot the system and from this point on Cinnamon will automatically start for you and will be ready to go. If you are running FreeBSD in a virtual machine, it is a common problem that your mouse pointer just refuses to move in your desktop manager. If you encountered this problem, may I suggest that you watch the related video on the topic, where I will demonstrate how to fix this for both QEMU slash KVM via the Virtual Machine Manager and for VirtualBox. There is a link in the description of this video for your convenience, as well as videos for the installation of XFCE, KDE and GNOME. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.